Hi! In this video, we'll look at how you can use Burp to test for clickjacking. Clickjacking is a web security vulnerability that allows an attacker to trick users into clicking on hidden web page elements. It's done by overlaying a disguised or invisible UI layer, usually using iframes, on top of a target web page, fooling users into believing they're clicking something totally different. For example, Users may think they're entering a draw to win a luxury cruise. In reality, they're sending money to an attacker. If you'd like to follow along, you can use the lab Basic Clickjacking with CSurf Token Protection from our Web Security Academy. If you're using Burp Suite Professional, you can use Burp Scanner to test for clickjacking vulnerabilities. So we'll take a look at this first. Once the lab has launched, open your target web page in Burp's browser. In this lab, we're going to use the My Account page of our fictional blog. Go to the Proxy HTTP History tab, right-click the request you want to test, and click Do Active Scan. When the scan is finished, go to Burp's dashboard and review the issue activity log to identify any frameable response issues that the scanner found. These indicate that your target web page is vulnerable to clickjacking attacks. Now we'll take a look at exploiting clickjacking vulnerabilities. Although you can manually create a clickjacking proof of concept, this can be fairly tedious and time consuming in practice. When you're testing for clickjacking, we recommend using Burp's Click Bandit tool instead. Once you've identified a vulnerable web page with an element that an attacker might target, open the top level Burp menu, then click Burp Click Bandit. Click Copy Click Bandit to Clipboard to copy the script. Load your target web page in Burp's browser. Paste the Click Bandit script into the Developer Tools console and the Click Bandit banner will appear. Click Start. This will reload the page within a frame, ready for the attack to be performed. Click Bandit is now in active record mode. Click Bandit records each of your clicks, so if you don't want to click to register at this stage, you can disable click actions from the checkbox on the Click Bandit banner. This will help if a click will result in an action you don't want to happen. As we'll be using Delete User as our potential target, we'll select this option. Click the elements you've identified as potential targets for attackers. Click Finish to end record mode and enter Review mode. In Review mode, Click Bandit replays your click journey around the target site with an attack UI overlaid, mimicking a real-world clickjacking attack. You can now click the attack UI buttons to verify each stage of the clickjacking attack, but be aware at this stage, any clicks you make will register, so if we click through the steps of this particular example, we would delete the user. If you need to adjust the attack layer, you can adjust the zoom using the plus and minus. Toggle transparency to show or hide the page behind the attack layer. Change the iframe position using the arrow keys on your keyboard. And reset the attack layer to its original state, removing any changes you've made to its zoom or position. Once you are happy with the settings, you can optionally choose to download the attack script as an HTML file. 